Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at a review of a match we played against Wolves. Now I've got mixed feelings about this result. Yes, we've managed to win but yet again we had a performance that is so much below par if we go by our standards. We haven't started the season particularly well. Even though we're in second position and haven't lost in the Premier League yet, we're still not performing at our best. Now we can go back and forth and blame the referee for some calls being made throughout the season. The players for not performing at their best, the coach for not making the correct selections, or we can blame this on the amount of games that every player has to play this season. The bottom line is that we barely won the match against bottom lock side Wolverhampton. Wolves have only managed to get one solitary point from their eight matches played and they still managed to play through us and almost cost us points. Jorgen Strand Larsen opened the score sheet in the seventh minute and Wolves were really causing us problems. Now we had a chance to level almost immediately with a shot from Silva but was unfortunately denied. Now I was starting to get feelings of deja vu because this fixed the last season when Wolves beat us 2-1. Now it isn't all bad and we definitely had our chances early on but the main issue is that we couldn't seem to find a way through the Wolves defense as of that particular moment. Half an hour in it seemed that there was no way through but a brilliant strike from Guardiol from Reigns drew us level in the 33rd minute. And what a goal it was. Curled into the top right corner giving Saar no chance of keeping the strike out. He's now made two goals thus far in the Premier League this season and six in 2024 and personally I feel that he can go on to score many more this season. Maybe we should bring him up from the back and play him closer to goal because any forward would be proud of a strike like that. We applied press on the Wolves goal but couldn't seem to get through even though Savinho put in a good effort on goal just before the close of the first half. Half time we went into the tunnel level with the score being one apiece. The second half started much the same as we just couldn't seem to get going properly. Haaland has been kept at bay and have had only seven touches on the ball in the entirety of the game at this point. It surely just wasn't his game. In the 40, uh, 54th minute, Diaz let a shot fly from Reigns and it seemed certain to fly into the back of the net. But Super Saar made another brilliant stop to the Nias yet again. The Wolves turned around quickly and Acuna shot at our end and Edison worried for a bit, but fortunately it went wide. City brought in Foden and not too long after Grealish also entered the field as Pep looked for a way to cleanse the match. With fresh attacking threats, Wolves seemed to be put under more pressure and we were relentless in our attacks. We'll try to hold on to the draw in a much needed point as they sit at the bottom of the Premier League table. As citizens, with our unwavering determination, we will never give up and this paid dividends as Phil Foden whipped in a beautiful corner from the right in the closing minutes of the game, finding Stones who powers ahead towards goal, beating Sa and putting us in the lead. A brilliant work corner, superb header and one that surely gave us the win but is disallowed and VAR had to tech. As the second sticked over, it certainly became nervy for me. But after some review, the goal stands. The goal stands. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful feeling it is to be a City fan. The score was 2-1 and it ended that way. It wasn't the prettiest of wins, but a win nonetheless. We managed to get the three points at the Molyneux and we extend our unbeaten run in the Premier League. Our next fixture will be on the 25th of October against Southampton where we will look to extend this run even further. Not our best, but we did it. Let's just hope that our forwards are more clinical in front of goal in the next match and I will be seeing you right after that. Thanks for watching and sharing this with us. We appreciate your support and until next time, we are World Football News.